Hello. Whoa. <laughs> People. Welcome back to the Night Walk vlog. It's your good friend Chad Marco here again. I'm just hanging out. Hanging out in Oakwood. You see all the stores and whatnot. It's good lighting out here. It's really not super late. Well, actually, it is. <laughs> it's five in the morning. <laughs> but this is the ideal time to come out in the hood <laughs> when you really don't have to worry about shit. But, you know, tonight I want to talk about something that I've discussed before on the podcast. I had a whole rant. I, I got to go back and find that shit, too, and chop it up. <laughs> that shit was pretty good. But I wanted to talk about the whole concept of approaching women, right? And specifically, the idea that it's a man's job to approach a woman first, right? And I just want to maybe not necessarily debunk that, but I definitely want to challenge it. And um, because it, it's, it's one of those sayings that have always bothered me. You know, it's a man. It's a man's job to make the, the masculine. I never liked that shit. <laughs> I never liked that. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I'm not saying that you shouldn't. If anything, you should, right? And I'm going to get into that later. But one thing I realize is, like, sometimes it's not always what you say. It's how you say it. And I feel like when guys say it's a man's job, job, <laughs> maybe that's why I don't like it, job. <laughs> but when people say it's a man's job to approach a woman first, I feel like um, I, I'm just always taking issue with that because I believe that one is just it's misleading one, but also this idea it it's one of those things that aids and supports female manipulation and control over men. You know, I mean to say that. It is your job, your job to approach a woman first, right? Like, that's serious. Like, by birth, right? <laughs> that means it's your obligation. That means that off the rip, just by virtue of you being a man, you have an obligation to do, to do something for a woman. When you really don't, you don't have an obligation to no goddamn body except yourself, right? And so that's one of the reasons why I don't like that saying is that it, it really, to me, it does nothing but support female control and manipulation over men. Um, and it, God damn, I don't know how deep I want to get into this, but I'm going to try to keep it as brief as I can because <laughs> I've thought a lot about it. But, um, but first off, I want to go into the power dynamic of it, right? The, the, the deeper meaning of approaching a, a woman first, right? Because one thing that I realized is that there is definitely power dynamics within a relationship. And it doesn't, it's not one of those things that starts like when their relationship is official. It begins even from the point of one person approaching the other. And so... You might think that approaching a woman is just, it's just that, but it's really not. It's when you approach a woman first, automatically she has the advantage. When you approach a woman first, it put her, it put her, it puts her in a in a advent, advantageous position to you. And why does it work like that, right? And one. It's because right off the bat, you're revealing how you feel about her, right? When you approach a woman first, you're basically saying, hey, I find you attractive and I want to have sex with you. You know, I want to spread your ass and lick your asshole. I want you to suck my dick. I want you to do all that nasty shit that I see in pornos. Like when you ask a girl out, you're actually revealing a lot of information about how you feel about her. You know, and very touchy, sensitive information. You're not blatantly saying, you know, I want my tongue up your ass. But, you know, all of those, all of those things are implied because why else would you approach her 
and ask her out if you didn't want to have sex with her. You know, if you knew you had no chance of having sex with her, you would never approach a woman to begin with, you know, unless you were trying to network to get connected to other women that you want to have sex with, right? So when you ask a girl out, you're revealing a lot of sensitive information. And all the while, she hasn't revealed anything to you. You have no idea how she feels about you. So that's why right from the very beginning, when you ask a girl out, she has the advantage in the situation because you're revealing information while she doesn't have to reveal anything. You have no idea how she feels about you. Even if she accepts your date, even if she accepts your invitation and goes out on a date with you, that doesn't mean that she likes you, right? She might just be looking at you like another sucker to take advantage of. So that's why that's why being asked out first puts you in a very advantageous position. And I know I always tell you guys about that time when the cashier girl had asked me out and it made me realize how girls feel when guys ask them out. Because when she had asked me out, I felt no pressure. I felt no stress. <laughs> right. I felt like like to me, it just felt like a slam dunk because I already knew, OK, she want to fuck. And so the whole pace of the interaction was pretty much set by me. Now, I wasn't going to do anything. I was just entertaining her to see, you know, how far she was willing to take it. Right. But that's, a, you know, I'm sure you got you all already heard that story. But um, when you approach a woman first, you're, you're giving her the advantage in the situation. And so what you have to understand, what women will say is that I need a guy to ask me out first to prove <laughs> right to prove himself to prove that he has confidence bullshit that's bull i'm telling you that's bullshit now i'm not saying that's not at all relevant right to to why women like guys asking them out but this idea that it's a confidence test is is just to me it's just bullshit i don't i don't buy that shit at all it is not some kind of goddamn confidence <laughs> it is not some fucking confidence test so and before I move on to the next point, another reason why that it gives the woman the advantage in the interaction is that um, the other reason that it gives her an advantage is because, and I talked about this before when I was talking about having a small dick, when you ask her out, you're accountable, right? You ask her out. You know, you ask her to be your girlfriend. You ask her to marry you. So now you're accountable for the outcome of the relationship, more or less, because you started it. Right. And again, women just don't like being held accountable. And that's another reason why they would rather a guy ask them out. One, because, again, you're the one revealing how you feel about them. And two, you're accountable for pretty much every event moving forward because you initiated it. You started it. You know, you decided, right? So the shit is actually really deep and it goes far beyond, you know, it's a man's job. <laughs> right? But going deeper into it, right? So why do women really why do women really prefer for a guy to ask them out first, right? And some of the reasons are pretty obvious, right? Like one, who who wants to risk getting rejection, getting rejected, right? Nobody wants to get rejected. Nobody enjoys getting rejected. And so that's an obvious reason why a lot of girls just simply won't ask a guy out first because they have to put their neck on the line. They have to put their ego on the line when they ask a guy out first, you know, as opposed to just sitting back and waiting for the guy to ask them out first. So that's the obvious one because and and this is really why a lot of guys don't want to ask girls out first. You know, it's the ego thing. You don't want you don't want to get your, your feelings hurt. You know, rejection just sucks, right? And it can take a while for people to build up a tolerance for that sort of thing. But um, you know, that's definitely one of the main reasons, but I think one of the biggest reasons why girls don't ask guys out first is and, and th that people don't really talk about a, a, a enough is that be they can rely on guys asking them out first so they're in a they're in a really a privileged position to where they don't have to take that risk to begin with because they can pretty much depend on guys asking them out first and so really this is one of those those situations where you got to put yourself 
in the shoes of a woman, right? Like, just imagine as a guy, let's say hypothetically, every year, once a month, you know without a shadow of a doubt that a woman is going to ask you out, right? At least once a month, every year. Now, she might be a four. She might be a five. She might be a seven. She might be an eight, right? You never know. But you know that once a month that's going to happen, right? Would you really really think about it now? Would most guys ask girls out if they were in that position? Really think about it. If guys could depend on girls to ask them out consistently, we just wouldn't do it. (laughs) You know, most guys make the first move, approach women first out of necessity, not because they want to, but they have to. And so at, what you have to understand is that women are in a position where they simply don't have to. So that's probably, to me, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why girls simply don't ask guys out because they they have so many guys who are willing to ask them out first that they never have to put themselves out there. It's like, it's like they might see you and they might think you're cute. They might think you're hot or whatever, but it's not that they don't feel pressed to take that risk because they already got three guys just like you in their DMs. It's already two guys who really look better than you at work who come after her. So it's like that's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why girls are so comfortable simply not approaching guys first because they have so many guys already approaching them. And again, they're all, they're not all high quality. They're not all good options, but they have enough good options coming their way to where it's like, why would I take that risk? Why would I put myself out there? And being truthful, most guys wouldn't do it either if they had a comfortable amount of options coming their way without them having to put in any work. And so really women are just in a privileged position where they simply don't have to. So, but and of course, like I said before, now some women understand this consciously, some don't. But like I said, it gives her the advantage. You know, any woman that understands game and implements it to the fullest, she's not going to approach you. for, And that's going to be one of the reasons why, because it gives her the advantage. She knows that it, like her approaching you first takes her out of the advantageous position. And women just simply do not like being in that position, period. Um, so, but more specifically, right, why is it not a man's job to approach a woman first, right? Because I still haven't proven, like, got to the main point here, right? So, and I'm sure you guys know where I'm going to go with this, but when you look at guys, right, at the, 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 the highest tier men, when you look at the celebrities, when you look at the guys who are very attractive, the athletes, the rappers, the musicians, the you know famous guys who are wealthy, attractive, when you look at guys who occupy that, that top 10 or 20% of guys, we all know that women just throw themselves at these guys. We, we know what it is, right? And so that in and of itself proves that it's not a man's job to approach a woman first. If it was a man's job to approach a woman first, like God came down from the heavens and ordained it, it is a man's job to approach the woman first. If if it was truly a man's job to approach a woman first, then these athletes, these musicians, these highly attractive men, highly successful men, they would not have women just throwing themselves at them. Because I don't care if you say, well, that's them. They're the minority. They're spe- no, they're men, right? <laughs> they're, they're men. Regardless of how wealthy they are, regardless of what they do, they're men. And women throw themselves at them. And if you don't believe me, you can just look it up. You can find any number of, of stories and, 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 and whatnot written and given to you by people, by men in that position. How it's totally different for them. How women just throw themselves at them. You know, not saying these guys don't approach women at all. Don't get me wrong. Not saying they don't do it. Like a lot of them, they still approach women, right? But they have women coming at them as well and aggressively so. And so looking at that, and again, even me, my scrub, bummy ass, 
<laughs> I had a girl ask me for my number. I'm the scrubbiest nigga in my city. I'm the dustiest. <laughs> Ain't nobody dustier than me, right? So looking at that, what does that tell me? What that made me realize was that it's not that it's a man's job to approach a woman first. Who approaches first is it's not a it's not really about gender. It's not a sex thing. It's about value. Lower value is always going to pursue higher value. And that's really what it comes down to. It's not really a gender thing. See, the reason why most guys have to approach women first is because they're simply not attractive enough to have women approach them first. That's really what it is. If they were more attractive, it wouldn't matter whether they were a man or not. Women would throw themselves at them because women naturally gravitate towards successful, attractive men. It's natural. It's natural. So when people say it's a man's job to approach a woman, again, to me, that's just that's blatantly inaccurate. It's not your job. Now, I'm not again, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I'm saying let's keep it real. The reason why most guys have to approach women first is because they're not attractive or successful enough for a woman to approach them first. Facts. That's what it is. But people don't want to say it like that because it's not as romantic. You know, sometimes we as people, we romanticize our inferior position to make ourselves feel better. Or we simply don't really look at at. at. Sometimes we can't see the, the forest from the trees. And so. You know, this whole it's a man's job to approach a woman first, you know, it plays into that that idea of being that that macho man, that aggressive, like, I, I, I get it, good, good, right? You know, when you say that, you're romanticizing your inferior position, right? Instead of just keeping it a buck, you approach women because they don't approach you because you're not that successful or attractive enough for it to happen, right? And that's just what it is. Now, because just, just think about it, right? You, you guys know I always talk about the tournament species, which is like very similar to our species where, you know, the top percentage of men have access to most of the women. And I always go back to like the elephant seal because they're like the perfect example of this. But my point is, when you look at different species where a minority of the men or the alpha males have access to the majority of the females, bruh. You think these motherfuckers going around one by one collecting bitches like, okay, I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you. Fuck no. Nah. <laughs> you think that that big ass elephant seal fucking walling around getting one bitch at a time? No. Most of the women that he, most of the females that he has access to naturally gravitate towards him. That's what it means to be a true alpha male. That's what it means, bro. One of the most alpha traits that you could possibly have is to have women naturally gravitate towards you. So when people say it's a man's job to approach women first, I'm, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's nothing but ludicrous to me. Because <laughs> if you have to do that, then that's, that's one of the biggest signs that you're not an alpha male. It might hurt motherfuckers' feelings, but that's just the way that it is. The guys at the top, they don't have to do that shit. And my whole point, again, I'm not saying don't do it. If anything, you should, because <laughs> otherwise <laughs> you end up like me, right? But I'm saying, all I'm saying is that if when you tell guys to approach women first, it's, imp it's not just, again, it's not just what you say, it's how you say it, right? And so I would say the reason why you should approach women first is because if you want something out of life, you should take initiative to get it. But this applies to both men and women. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. If you want something, you should go for it. I don't see how being a female makes you exempt for that. And it really doesn't. Because like I said, you can see plenty of examples of women chasing after higher status men. You can see it all the time, right? When a guy's attractive enough, girls, they're going to go outside their comfort zone and, and throw themselves to these guys. But they definitely wouldn't do it to like a normal dude, right? It takes a special kind of guy to make a woman, especially an attractive woman, put herself out there like that. But it's possible and it happens. Like I said, bro, if you want something, you should go for it. I'm just saying to put that on men exclusively doesn't make any sense. You know, take. 
Oh, that's a truck. <laughs> but taking initiative for what you want out of life is a virtue, no matter what your gender is. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. If you want something, you should go for it. Right? So I'm not saying trying to say don't don't approach women. That's that's nonsense. <laughs> More likely you're gonna have to. <laughs> Cause let's face it, most guys will never be that attractive or that successful to where they can just depend on women coming to them first. Right? You just gotta suck it up. You just gotta suck it up and deal with it. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to be in that lesser position, approach her. You you just you gotta do it. You know, it just it, it's 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 just a state of being being a man who's not in that alpha at that alpha level. So, like I said, I'm not saying don't, <laughs> don't <laughs> please don't <laughs> please don't think I'm saying that. I'm just saying the reason why you do something is just as important as 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 as, as you know just doing it anyway, right? And I feel like when you when you approach women with the mindset that it's your job, then I feel like you're subconsciously pedestalizing women. But when you say, you know what, I'm a, I'm going to approach women because I want a girlfriend and I'm going to take initiative to get what I want, that's virtuous. That's awesome. That's cool. That's character. <laughs> you know, you're not pedestalizing her. You're just saying, hey, if I want something, I'm going to go for it. You know, if I really wanted a girlfriend, I wouldn't wait around. <laughs> if, I, if I wanted a girlfriend right now... It, it would be silly of me to sit here and say, well, I'm going to just sit back and wait. That's ridiculous, right? I don't oppose women because I'm not looking for a girlfriend. If I wanted a girlfriend, then obviously I would have to put myself out there like that. You know, now I probably wouldn't do the whole cold approach thing. You know, I'd probably just finally open my eyes <laughs> and start, you know, looking for choosing signals and shit. You know, right now I go out of my way <laughs> to ignore women. But that's another story. Um, but I just wanted to talk about that shit, man, because it's one of those things that just always bothered me because I feel like it's one of those it's one of those sayings that only helps to continue to keep men in bondage to slavery to women. When you again, when you say it's your job, that that means you're obligated by birth. And that's ridiculous. You don't you're not you're not obligated to do shit for nobody except yourself <laughs> and your kids, maybe. But that's it. And so that's why I don't like that shit. I, I, I never like when guys say that. And again, you should do it, but do it for the right reasons. Do it for the right re do it for the, the do it for the right reasons. Do it because you should take initiative when you want something. And 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 I say the same for girls. You know, now you might girls might be in a privileged position to where they don't have to, but I would even tell a female. You know, you can't expect every guy that you like to approach you first. You know, if you end up in all these toxic, bad relationships, but in reality, you put no effort in, in seeking out and putting in work to get a good man, then you're in the wrong. That's just the way that it is. If you if you always end up in toxic relationship at the toxic relationship and you put no effort into into um, approaching guys that look like they would be. Um, a good boyfriend or a good partner for you, then you got no one to blame but yourself. You know, if I was a woman, now if I was a woman, all right, I'd probably be, <laughs> but right, but if I was a woman, I would not depend on guys approaching me first. I would because I'd be a woman, but you, you get what I'm saying. Like if you put my brain in <laughs> a rational man brain in a, <laughs> in a female body, I would never take that approach. That's insane. You only get what someone gives to you. That's crazy. <laughs> so I would say the exact same thing to women. If you want something, you should go for it. And it's not your job. You're not obligated to. But if you want it, go for it. This message is brought to you by Chad Marco. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm about to get the fuck out of here because, as you can see, the sun is coming up. Johnny.